Um, hi, good day everyone. Uh, I am Bernard from NIE Wellness Centre. I'm the clinic manager and uh, NIE Wellness Centre offers counselling support and psychological assessment. And part of the counselling support, we also render uh, career counselling. Uh, and in these recent years, especially with the uh, ever-changing employment landscape, uh, some of our graduate students have, have kind of asked us some questions. And so today I take this opportunity to address some of these questions. And, and most often I've also realized that some of the questions are kind of gravitating towards how to prepare for an interview, especially being a graduate student. I think what employers are seeking today, uh, I mean, apart from the technical knowledge, I think quite a number of employers are looking at uh, individuals who are very comfortable to learn, unlearn and relearn, which means they are always very adaptable and willing to learn new uh, new knowledge, new stuff, new content, and so on and so forth. Of course, in addition to that, uh, I, I believe that a lot of employers are also looking for individuals who can be independent uh, workers at the same time they are comfortable in working in a team. So kind of in a nutshell, an employer is looking for more for a holistic individual who is collaborative and have quite a, a, a high awareness for um, working with other individuals, right? Um, and how do we prepare for an interview? I think preparing for the interview uh, is something that we need to ask ourselves, how can we add value to the industry that we are going in, right? For an example, knowledge base is one thing. So that's the technical knowledge of, of things. So for an example, what is the technical knowledge of a counsellor? He or she understands the counselling theories, the practices, and so on and so forth. I think the flip side of what employees are looking for in an interview is what are the soft skills that this person can bring in. So what do I define by soft skills? For an example, uh, how do I do, uh, for an example, um, peer management or conflict management? These are some of the soft skills that employers are always looking for, right? So if, if you notice, soft skills tend to gravitate towards working with other individuals. So as much as in our academic training is preparing us for jobs from a technical perspective, you will also would have noticed as uh, graduate students that a lot of our work are also working with other teammates. So that is also part of the preparation. So when it comes to job preparation, I think we need to highlight these things during the interviews. So of course, going back to the interview, uh, I think as, as a any potential employer will look at the look at the factor that how will this person add value to my industry. So, I think that needs to be surfaced during interviews. How can we add value? I know sometimes as you know uh, we we tend to be, to uh, we don't want to go into this phase of humble bragging. So we we tend to be very you know, we try to minimize our strength. It's not about minimizing our strength, but it's about showcasing what are our strengths and how can we add value. So these are some tips in, in relation to preparing for an interview.